What's up, Libra? Let's go and see what's in the cards for you guys today. This reading is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising. If you are new here, I'm RG. Welcome to Sacred Libra. What we talk all things Libra. Let's see what is coming out for Libra, okay? You got the Queen of Pentacles energy around you. So right now, you are really, really focused on your coin. You're really, really focused on your money. You're really, really focused on making dividends, making a value, okay? So that is the only thing that you're focused about, okay? If somebody is not talking about money around you, you don't want to hear it right now because that is the only thing that you're focused on right now. Anyway, um, you are like severely focused on look you out your feelings you hopped out of your fears and into a bag like you are not worried about nothing all those things that used to scare you so for some of you guys when this has something to do with money if you had a problem like speaking or you had a problem like being confident you had a problem like showing yourself this is not going to be you this is not for you right now like this is not you in the stage like what you have done you have came out of those fears you've jumped out of that you freed yourself this is you freeing yourself from those fears that hold you back from catering to your coin okay so all of this shit that was holding you down all of this work all of this you see all of that that this person is struggling with all of that was unnecessary so now you're able to focus on your coin and this is in your immediate energy which is really really good like you're freeing yourself all right you making money and you and you slaying demons at the same time okay what else is coming up for libra all right so look we got the, the ten of cups right here really really happy life um a lot of you guys you can definitely be in your nurturing energy where you're around family you're tending to pets you're tending to plants like you your empress energy is is out you want to love on something you want to be surrounded by love i'm um, a lot of you guys are you are not going to want to be around fucked up energy right now you are only want to be around good energy right now especially you got time to work and to have a little fun to work and laugh work and laugh that's it anything in between you do you do not have time for it at all right now um you could be spending a lot of time with family it's going to be a good time to kind of create like this family bond also i do see see relationships deepening also and these are good relationships not relationships that keep you like in this energy where your fear or it keeps you from nurturing the things that you need to nurture so i do feel like that something is a very very healthy love something is very very healthy um you could be very very healthy i do see somebody that they're eating more like green um they're eating more plants they're being more mindful about what they eat it's like your energy having your energy top 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 notch you may find yourself like switching out certain foods in the next couple of days because you're realizing what gives you energy what doesn't what makes your body feel good you're not even about what tastes good no more ain't that ain't that crazy but you kind of like what makes my body feel good and you're going to eat those feel good foods because you're in a very feel good mood okay all right let's see what else we have we have for you okay so somebody coming out right here you do have the page of cups so somebody coming right into your energy all right you do have the three of cups here so it looks like there's a mutual friend a friend of a friend that kind of like you they send you they like what they see and here they go they about to go shoot they shot so somebody is definitely coming into your immediate energy this person is not shy at all this person it could be a little younger than you or they could be just a little bit naive when it comes to um love or they just just a loose cannon they don't care like they like I, I wear my heart on my sleeve um you look good i want you where we going to eat tonight like straight like that like somebody does not really care about anything like they are really really coming towards you coming right into your energy reading and it could be a little young and i feel like you're gonna think it's cute you're gonna think it's cute especially because they know a friend they gonna feel like they can't look they they caught your eye too so look yeah they caught your eye too oh it looks like you've been waiting for a person to say something it's like um you've been seeing me for this whole time but you ain't saying that and now you finally said something okay there we go um you should have been said something um what else let's see what's in your immediately in your immediate your immediate energy coming towards you y'all trip y'all got me cracking up okay so you do have this six of swords here somebody changed somebody changed all right you do have this heartbreak energy okay so somebody was going through some type of heartbreak they changed now they're better now like they're not going through this this type of nasty heartbreak energy they may give you a call um it looks like this person has been yeah this person has been kind of like you already know that somebody is coming to your house or they already know that you may be coming to the, their house um but they're not in some type of bad heartbreak energy anymore like they're coming like they in this energy where they kind of like feel like 
you know, if we can have a conversation, we can have a conversation. I'm not mad no more. Like, that's how it's given. Like, I'm not mad no more. We can really talk. Like, somebody, you are not going to be able to kind of, like, move to calmer waters or find a solution because they were still mad. So, somebody who's coming to your immediate energy or coming in your immediate energy, coming close beside you, they're not mad no more. So, you can go ahead and have a conversation with this person. All right, let's see what else is coming towards. What else? What else is coming towards Libra? All right, so we do have the World Card Unfinished Business. This is this person coming in. Okay, you thought it was finished. No, it wasn't. You thought the door was closed. Mm, it's cracked. Um, You got the World Card in reverse. Look at that. Tower card. All that front, all that mad energy, all that heartbroken energy. They're not heartbroken no more. Or whatever it is, they kind of went through some type of spiritual transformation, mental transformation, some type of transformation. They had a come to Jesus moment, and now they want to talk to you, okay? They're going to be knocking on the door. The door is open, all right? They have they have a whole different insight about all of the shit that, that, that didn't happen, okay? Everything that they can happen. They're going to be dedicated into making sure that something is balanced between you. So they coming through, they already know. They already speak in your language. So they already know that you're about balance. They coming through on the six of swords balance. So they already know that you're about balance. So they kind of want something to be balanced with you. So they're able to hear you out and definitely talk to you. So whatever this person is, they know you. Don't think for a second that they don't know you. All right? Um, coming, unfinished business. They coming right through that door, okay? Um, you have the seven of... You have the seven of wands, all right? So it looks like this person is going to press back. Um, so hold back information. All right, who is this stubborn-ass person that's coming through? So, so you mean to tell me that somebody did all this work, you done went through a whole spiritual transformation to come through my door, and you come through my door, and you on this, like, you don't want to hear nothing, you don't want to say nothing, you don't got nothing to say? Hmm, so it looks like somebody's going to be talking to you just to try to get into your door. They don't really want to change. It looked like they changed. I didn't even came up here and said that they changed. They didn't even change. Let's see what else is going on here. Hmm. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. On your motherfucking way. <clears throat> Somebody needs to get on their way. Look. This Knight of Pentacles needs to go ahead and walk somewhere. I don't know where they're going to go, but they need to go ahead and walk somewhere. And, and... This person coming through, standing standing 10 toes down, guess they're going to go right to the group and tell them everything. Somebody is nasty. Somebody is very, very nasty, okay? I don't know what this person is about, but they are a chameleon. They are good at being a chameleon because this person is coming in. I, it kind of looks like, oh, I changed. I'm not heartbroken no more. Um, let me come into the door, but that is how they get you in the door. I'm not even tripping about that no more. That ain't even about nothing. That ain't that all that ain't about nothing. You know, I was tripping back then. You know, I was hurt, so hurt people hurt. Oh, they're gonna say all of the good things. They're gonna say all of the good things. Who you growling at? They said, be quiet. I'm trying to go to sleep. They're gonna say all of the good things only just to try to get you to react. Only just to try to get you to react so they can go back and tell. So I already told you now, you already know. All right, you already know. So I don't know why, what what does the person want with your energy? Anyway, all right, let's see what else is going on here. Okay, so you got somebody who you can work with and your hard work is paying off. I told you you about your coin. You about your coin, honey. Um, Definitely about that coin, honey. Look at that. Look at that. The generous queen, okay, who needs some help. You are giving the generous queen, all right? So you've been the very, very generous queen out here, giving and giving and giving to the needy, feeding the needy out here. Believe me, sweetie, I got enough to feed the needy, okay? Somebody got enough to feed, okay? And because you've been giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving, the universe is going to start giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. Your hard work, the things that you're paying off, the things that you're focused on right now is going to flourish. This is this is this is in the art of flourishing. Just don't get caught up by this person. Somebody is trying to delay you somebody is trying to knock you off your gear remember the knight of pentacles is the the the, the, the knight of delay so this person is trying to deny you um deny you delay you okay so definitely be mindful of this person coming in acting like they changed um you damn damn sure don't react period don't react. You're going to feel shitty the next morning. Mark my words. When I tell you this, you're going to be able, you're going to be thinking about it, thinking about it, and thinking about it, and thinking about it. And guess what's going to get neglected? You bet you that coin. Okay. So, um, yeah, do not react. Go to sleep. Turn me on. 
<laughs> Go somewhere else. Don't don't react. Don't you dare react to this person. Okay, so then you got the three of cups coming out here. We're going to have to see whatever cards are surrounding you, three of cups, because this person did just run to the three of cups. Okay? This person did just run to the three of cups. And let me find out that little one over there is also a mutual friend of these three of cups. I need to know what these three of cups is about. All right. Um, we do have the fool and we do have the knight of wands here. So somebody is opening up. Okay, so it looks like when you get close with your friends or some people, whoever you talk to or whatever, um, there's going to be some tea. Okay, a lot of tea. Somebody's going to be telling you, oh, did you hear about whatever like somebody's definitely gonna be telling you some tea something's gonna be really really good or maybe you coming to with the tea like do you know so and so came over and showed they like you're gonna be like you're gonna give them some type of tea it's gonna be the exchange of some type of tea that's happening between you and your your, your clique your girlfriends like whatever it is or your your man friends okay something like that okay so there's returns or investments here like i feel like this is the energy of you getting paid this is a really really big return that's coming towards you you got the knight of pentacles look at that page of pentacles all right look look what you did to that page of pentacles you turned that page around and turned that page into the ace of cups okay by learning something new you were able to get completely um wish fulfillment by taking some type of course or something to following your heart or being able to get some type of new information taking heed to some type of information you're able to to turn that into um the ace of cups okay so how did you do that all right how was you able to do that yeah why because you took some knowledge and you took it with your wisdom or you turned something around with your imagination you you created something completely different so i do feel like that you are sitting here and you are focused on your money that is what you're focused on that is what you're worried about that is the only thing that you're focused on right now somebody else is focused on kind of catching you slipping but I feel like even the focus on your money, you focusing on your craft, you focusing on your pinnacle, put you out of harm's way for this person because you're not focused about them. And you can, the only way that you can be sitting there pushing back at a person so they got to stand their ground and all that, that's when you give them they fo your focus. So just keep your focus on your money and all the growth that you've done, all the healing that you've done. Like, you've done a lot of healing. Like, I haven't even gave y'all all of the props that you're supposed to get when that Nine of Swords comes into reverse. This is freeing yourself, okay? This is freedom. You definitely freed yourself from self-sabotage. You freed yourself from a lot of stuff. So, I do feel like you're understanding your stuff. You're, you're, you're growing, you're healing, and you're moving in the, the right direction. And a lot of returns are coming towards you. So, a lot of things are turning towards, towards you. You turn something so small into something really, really big. All right, so let's see. All right, let's see. Last but not least, look at that. I told y'all returns, 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 returns. Say it with me. Returns, 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 returns. Okay, you do have the six of of um wands coming. Out. I was about to say six pentacles. Six of wands coming out. This is you, whatever you're doing is starting to catch catch noise. Okay, this means that whatever you're doing is starting to get a lot of people coming into you, a lot of um, recognition. You're getting recognized for your hard work, returns on your investments. You could have this could definitely be a celebration because of your hard work being paid off. So you're going to go celebrate. You're going to go party, work hard, play hard. But this is a lot of people starting to follow you. This is you picking up a following. You picking up like a fan base. You picking up a, a bunch of customers. This is you becoming very very popular. This is this is this is this is happening for you. So you're getting your flowers for all of your hard work. So you should definitely be very very happy. Um, you do have the strength card at the bottom of the deck. Confidence overload. Looking good. Feeling good. All of those good things and also all the while healing healing does can look cute right healing could look really really cute um it looks like that you're remembering something in the past you're remembering somebody um you're remembering something like i feel like you're gonna be leaving somebody behind um you do have the five the, the three of cups i did say let me look at these three of cups let me see what these three of cups is talking about but it looks like this three of cups is this could be a, some type of a new this could be some type of new group. So it looks like you're going to be celebrating with some type of new people. Not the people who you really, really want to celebrate. Not saying you don't want to celebrate with your new people. But, you know, something could be bittersweet sometimes. Sometimes in success, I'm pretty sure all of, the, all of the successful people who watch, you know that as you're growing, sometimes you can't bring everybody with you just because of cer certain circumstances. Sometimes you know as you get older, you have to love more people that you truly, 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 truly love. You got to love those people from afar. So there's some people here that you're going to be celebrating with with um that or you're not going to be celebrating with that you really really wish you would celebrate with um but it's 
all in the name of growth. It's all in the name of flourishing. It's all in the name of success. It happens there, okay? So that is your reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.